Hi there. This is Patty. I'm from Fuller's Fantasy. And I wanted to show you how this Lynx puppet works. This Lynx is interesting because it's our first time offering detachable wings. These are also new wings. These are some wings that are kind of fairy looking. They are pink and they are luminescent. So you can take them off. This is what they look like. And when you take them off, then instead of a fantasy creature, you have a regular lynx. So maybe your spirit guide animal or just favorite animal is a lynx, doesn't have wings. So you could take those off for those occasions. Or you can add them back on. Uh, we also have leather wings that are real cute. You'll see him with pictures of those in our shop and on our store. So you can get an idea of what he looks like with different options. We also make feather wings out of real feathers and we use those for our hippogriff as well as a Trico puppet we made that um, is Trico from the Last Guardian video game and movie. So here we have our Lynx though, getting back to our Lynx. He has a short little tail like Lynx's do. And right now he is sitting on one of our shoulder harnesses. You have the option of the shoulder harness. You don't have to purchase that. He's on a black one, which goes really well with his black ears, or the trim on his black ears. But you can also get a natural leather one. It's a little less expensive, but not much. And it's just real plain. It'll go with anything. And these have metal plates on them because under that lynx, hidden under his fur, are some magnets. And the magnets then adhere to that metal plate, and then he's really safe when he's sitting up there on your shoulder. You can also get that natural leather stained brown, so if you want a more natural look, so possibly with a ren fur outfit or something. We also do white, and then any of these can also have fur attached underneath so that they're more comfortable when you're wearing them. These harnesses have leather straps with a buckle. And on our site and on YouTube as well, you'll see my daughter wearing the shoulder harness so you can see how it's worn, but it goes on one shoulder and then crisscrosses across the front of your body and the back of your body and this buckles under your shoulder near the armpit. I'm just gonna show you here. You can't even see his magnets but they're in there. So I want to fix his little foot here. You can see his arms and his legs are jointed. So they move, so the legs move as well. All right, now to how he works. Let me fix the, the camera. He has, coming out of his tail, a single wire mechanism that you can hide underneath your clothing. I know it's bright yellow, but that's the color that they come in. Well, you could put tape on it if you wanted to. At the end of it, we put a 20-sided die for decoration, and we try to match colors in the puppet with the die. And when you use this mechanism, you're going to hold the silver part or the die itself with one hand, and then in the other hand, the yellow piece. And you're going to twist in opposite direction. So I will take the yellow piece and twist it towards that lynx, this silver piece towards me. And there's some tension, but you still want to do it slowly. And his head will just kind of rotate a little bit. See? And it's not huge. And it, there he goes. And it will be even more without that little click at the end. When this piece is straight coming out of his tail and goes down your back. Right now, because it's on a curve, it's a little kinky. And when you see my daughter working these puppets on her shoulder on the YouTube channel, you'll see how much more interesting it even looks. Really lifelike. So that's one of the movements, but there's another movement you can do. I'm gonna turn him sideways for this. He has a little fuzz or something. I'll touch him up there. You're going to push and pull, or pull and then push back in with these two pieces. And then his head moves like this. Now once you practice, you can combine the movements. And it, again, I'm having a little trouble. I'm not as good as it is some people are. 
because I have arthritis in my fingers. It has nothing to do with the mechanism, really. But those are your two movements for our puppets. An in and out movement and then a head rotation. So there he is. That's from the front, that little movement. It looks like he's nodding yes. Because he could freak people out if they ask him a question, he could say yes. And I guess he could say no as well. Not your traditional no, but that could be your no. Well, I hope to... Uh, I've answered most of your questions about our puppets, but you're welcome to send us a message to Fuller's Fantasy. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Fuller's Fantasy at gmail.com. We also have an Etsy shop and an online shop, and those web addresses should be listed in the YouTube channel. Uh, if you think of a creature that you would like that you don't see, we make custom creatures all the time. This little link, in fact, was a request from a customer. And all they asked for is a lynx. Artist looked up a picture of a lynx on the internet, and he sculpted this just from the picture. So he's really good about that. So we also have many dragons and all sorts of fantasy creatures. Let us know what you're looking for, or if you just like this little guy as he is, you can order him this way as well. Oh, one other thing I want to show you is his eyes. I'm sorry, I wasn't very organized. He has natural looking eyes. We could also put little marbles in there. But you can pick what color eyes that you would like. All right, I think I've said everything I would like to. I appreciate your patience with my finger in the camera. And I'll work on that, I promise, as I get better at the videos. Take care and have a great afternoon or evening or morning, whatever time it is that you're watching our show.